The world has changed dramatically, as we all know, since January 2020. The whole world is shut down. Like, I don't, we've never, the world has never been here before. always borrow to invest. I use debt to invest. But to be able to do that, to go to here, to get rich, to do that, you've really got to have a lot of financial education. I don't recommend it, but it's the best way to get rich. Be very careful right now because I use debt, Trump uses debt. The more debt we use, the less tax we pay. That is why I love real estate. I can use debt, pay no taxes, make a lot of money. So that's really what I teach. I don't recommend it, but for those of you who understand what's called an infinite return, it's the best way to get rich, but you have to have a lot of financial education. As you know, our school systems teach us nothing about money, nothing. It's pathetic. You know, they have financial literacy courses today. Well, that's not financial education. You know, it's really pathetic. And what's happening for most people today is, you know, they follow that age-old mantra, go to school, what do you learn about money in school? No. Get a job. Well, jobs are disappearing. Not only that, is that with artificial intelligence and G5 coming, more jobs are going to be wiped out, plus with driverless cars, more jobs are getting wiped out. So why would you go to school to get a job? And then work hard for money but pay, and pay taxes. Taxes are gonna keep going up, sports fans. They have to. Somebody's gonna pay off this massive mountain of debt stacking up all over the world. And the only way they pay off debt is via taxes. And then they tell you to get out of debt. Oh God. Debt is money. Please understand me. In 1971, when Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard, Money became debt. So the rich know how to use debt to get rich. And that's what I do. You choose. The rich use debt to get rich and the poor and middle class get wiped out because they're in debt. That's because of the lack of financial education. So the reason the rich don't pay taxes is because there's three types of income. They'll never teach you this in school. The okay, number one type of income is earned income. It's when you work for money. And then the second type of income is portfolio income. And portfolio income is from flipping houses or you buy a stock for like $10, you sell it for $20. That's portfolio income. I don't do that. But the income that the rich work for is called passive income. Passive income is also known as cash flow. The reason I say only lazy people use their own money is because it takes much more intelligence to raise capital. And so I've never been able, ever since my rich dad, as a little boy, my rich dad forbade me from ever saying, I can't afford it. He says, figure out how you can afford it. How can you do something? Figure out how you can do something. So over my lifetime, most of the projects I, I've started, I've, I've never had any money. I, I like not having money because it forces me to think. I get creative. I have to educate myself. I have to talk to rich guys. Hey, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? And what has happened to me, I mean, I just turned 72. I've never needed money. First way you understand risk is you look in the mirror. It's who's looking back at you. You're the risk not the investment. For example, I invest in a lot of real estate. And say, oh, real estate is so risky, it's nothing called buy ETFs. So you play it safe, but, but you'll learn more by investing in real estate, right? Because you'll make more mistakes. So that's the difference. So it's not real estate that's risky, it's your risk. So when you go to your banker, your banker does not ask you for your report card. So when a banker asks you, for your financial statement, they want to see how smart you are here. 
This is my message to anybody, including millennials, is where is your head? You know, I know most, uh, most millennials, they want a high paying job. They want to be able to pay the rent and eat and all this stuff. And then you dream of the big house and nice car and all that. But that's why 99% of Americans are broke because their heads are in the wrong spot. So when I asked Kim if she would take an accounting course, it was just two days, you know, I wanted to see if her head could get into the asset column.